Hey everyone, Michelle Edhouse here from Mickey Art. Um, so today I am going to wash my paintings. Um, these are paintings that have been painted for over two weeks. Um, I always leave them to the paint to completely set for two weeks and that way I know that um, if it's going to come off, it'll come off, but it's only because it's the paint's doing that it's not because it hasn't been left long enough to dry so how do I do it I grab some dish soap now this is um, cheap dish soap from from Binan which is um, which is, I don't know, about a dollar a litre or something incredibly cheap like that. And um, I wet my canvas, get my sponge, and um, just put a whole heap of the soap on. It's cheap as chips and just circular motions. Well, it's cheaper than chips. <laughs> really? Um, and just soak the whole lot down and then rinse it off and repeat get some more soap and do more circular motions and I do this three times, um, mostly two would be enough and um, three is kind of like that final flush off, that final rinse. If you look, um, you can see how the, it's foaming up. But when I do that, you can actually see it's still resisting. So that tells me that there is still silicon on here. And I'm going to need to do another, another run. Every now and again, I just rinse out my cloth and give it a good squeeze so that any silicon that's in the cloth goes off to get washed off too so let's give it another good and as you can see like this paint is stuck on there it is not coming off and there's no big puddles of resist happening in this foam anymore that next I mean, the foam does pop, it does clear away, but not getting pushed away by the silicon. So that's a good sign. And so now I can give that one final rinse and put it on the other side of the trampoline to dry. There we go. use my trampoline as my place of cleaning because then I don't have to worry about not splashing on the floor or anything like that this is that gold one that gold five um, five hole pour that I did been following my channel so I like to leave it in big to do lots of them at the same time because I feel like it's a lot more 
economical on the time. You've not got setting up, you're not setting up, washing one or two, and then, but look, there's no color coming off that at all. It's just staying beautiful, staying all yummy. Now, when I was using the other, the other paint, I had to be really careful when I had Um, white space because it was it would start to dissolve when I was washing it and it would go all mushy and I had to be really really careful not to rub too hard and get it done as quickly as possible and not take too much time otherwise your, your white would dissolve Because all you're actually using is silicon and dish soap and water, it's not bad for not bad for the ground. Well, too much of it is. Just like anything, too much of anything is bad for you. Bad for the planet. When stuff gets out of whack, that it becomes a problem, isn't it? And you know what the biggest problem for our planet is at the moment? There's too much sadness and unhappiness and not enough joy and laughter. And that's what's out of whack on our planet at the moment. What would the world be like if everybody was happy? You know, yeah, you might have the odd moment of sadness or grief or whatever, but if your overall percentage See, we're getting some resist happening on there. Um, if your overall percentage of your life, you were happy, and everybody on the planet was happy, what would be different? How much more ease, joy, and glory would the planet have? The actual physical planet. Okay, so... This one's still got quite a bit on there. I'm seeing, I'm not sure if I can get this because of the reflection on the screen. I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but through here and through here, there's still where the silicon is pushing the water away. So although I've already done three, I need to do a third. And really use lots and lots of soap and get that silicon all broken down. Ah. <laughs> now because I use a spray varnish, it's not quite so imperative to get the perfect 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 is if you're using a brush on varnish brush on varnishes will just because they're liquid they'll just repel and you'll have patches in your varnish same with um, resin but with the spray on this seems to coat and stick and stay. I don't know why, but that's why I use it. Here we go. That's as good as I'm going to get this one. It does still have one patch. I don't know. Where did that go? Oh, 
the weather's decided to help me in the washing, but not in the drying. That's okay. That's better. So I'm going to get the rest of these done. Hey guys, so um, what I've just spotted is this earth attempt. When um, it got splashed while I was washing other paintings, it um, it's actually bubbled up. Yeah. Can you see in here? It's bubbled up and it's um it's gone a bit crazed in other places as well um i think what that is is that partly it was too too thinned out in those places um but also if you remember when i painted this i don't, probably don't but um what happened was i Painted the background with the fess black, which isn't particularly well painted anyway. Um, and it wasn't, that wasn't completely dry and it wasn't really wet. And I think that what in concrete terms you would call cold joint um, may have created that space where the paint is just bubbling up. Um, which is really sad because it's kind of cool it's like what I call my earth comet um, so it's a bit of texture I'm going to wash it anyway and um, leave it to dry see what happens and um the other thing I wanted to test was just the black on its own and it's coming off that's one wash I normally do three so that black that fast acrylic black was not watered down it was not um, what's the word it didn't have any flow troll in it at all it was just straight and it's just washing straight off guys so this is the reason why I would say this is all bubbling up because there's a hole in the paint somewhere and the water's got in and it's just it's just disintegrating. So this is why I don't use that fast black anymore and I don't use the fast white either because it does the same thing but in white. Huh. So there you go. Unfortunately that painting is going in the bin and how does it get any better? So I just wanted to show you, I washed the cloth off and I'm doing my last one here and you know this is this is the importance of using high quality artist acrylic paints, um, not student acrylics. They just, they are waterproof, they actually do create a seal on the canvas and you can wash the silicon off of these. So. There's absolutely no bubbling occurring on this. Um, so those fast acrylics that I've got are going to stay for monochrome, no silicon jobbies. And then I don't have to wash them and they can just be sealed and look beautiful. So there you go. Uh, this is the last one. So let me take you around and show you. I'll just turn the hose off first and I'll show you all of them that I've just cleaned up today. So there, here we go guys. These are all on my channel. You can check them out and have a look. Um, 
This one, when I washed it, it just absolutely glistened. Look at all that gold in there. Woohoo! And uh, when I washed it, which will give me a sense of what it'll look like once it's varnished, that red just came back, right back up to its vibrant yumminess. So I'm looking forward to this one being sealed and ready to go. This one over here. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. You guys were all a bit, oh my god, but look at, look at that, look at the bronze in there. Now this one actually has been through a bit of damage while it was drying. It got some paint on it. And I was asking it, do you want me to throw you away? And it said, no, make me into a bag. So I'm going to be doing a bit more sewing by the looks of it. That one's come up really nice. I'm, it's very, very plain. Colour-wise, I might write some words on that one. These are two of the four that um, I did. And I'm doing an experiment with resin on these. So that's why I'm only washing two. There's a reason behind that. You can wait for the video. There's those casters, coasters. Those have actually cracked quite dynamically, if you look at that. Um... And I get there was actually crazing in the ceramic tile before I painted over it and that's what's caused that. But that's cool. I'm going to resin those as well and they'll look cool on my coffee table. It's another gold one. that I washed that one for you. But look at it now. It's dry. Look at all that gold. I like gold LLC. It's my triangle rose. And again, this one, the red really pops once it's wet. So, looking forward to that. Now, that's the one I did with the white and black. Okay, so this is, there's a bit of a theme happening on this one. This is the one that had the runoff of my, um, one of my monochromes. I used that as the um, white space to allow the paint to pour and look it got wet too oh, where are we? it got wet and it started to bubble right there in the middle so I would say that is because we had that fast student acrylic underneath and as soon as that got wet it just started to, to bubble so not excited about that lesson learned I really like that one. That's very cool. This is the one I did when I did the Unleashing Your Creativity webinar. Unfortunately, the video... Zoom did not record me videoing this, painting this, so... A bit bummed about that, but I do love that one. It's very cool. And moving on to special guests, my shoes, without the inner soles in them. Um... I've just been wearing those while I've been doing the washing of the paintings and they also came with me to the Foo Fighters concert on the weekend and um, it was torrential rain and we were standing in puddles and all sorts and they have held up beautifully. I've worn these almost every single day since I um, posted that video and they are still looking really 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 good dirty but good haha <laughs> um, so thank you to the lady who posted on this video the video of the making of these that I would be surprised at how resilient they are and yes I am these have been amazing already um, as I say standing in puddles uh, absolutely saturated we were at Foo Fighters um, but it was fun and it's summer so being wet it's not so bad so there you have it guys that's how I wash and um, I will let those guys dry for another few three four five days in this weather uh, if it's colder I'd probably leave them for another couple of weeks before I varnish them um, how does it get any better than that? 
have fun i adore you and i'll see you really soon bye